Hi friends, welcome to Vangasal. Today is the 35th episode in the biology series. So in biology, in the last episode, we discussed about the digestive system. So in the digestive system, there are four main parts of digestion. So, so today we are going to discuss about the first part of digestion. What happens in the mouth and what or what is inside the mouth. So even if there is a diagram about the nasal cavity, we are not going to discuss about the nasal cavity or the nose in this video. Only about the oral cavity or the mouth. So in human anatomy, I mean anatomy, the mouth is the first portion of the alimentary canal that receives food and produces saliva. So in the digestive system, there is a tube from up to down. So that is known as the alimentary canal. Yes. So this is the first portion. This portion is known as the ma- mouth. Everybody knows the mouth. Yes. So the mouth consists of two regions. The vestibule, which is the area between the teeth, lips and cheeks, which is just up here between the lips, teeth and the t- cheeks over here. So it is in this part over here. Next is the oral cavity, which is be- behind. It is like in this place. And for example, you do this. It is where I show my finger to. Yes. So, okay. So, its roof is formed by the hard palate at the front and soft palate at the back. So, here in the oral, in the mouth, there are three main parts. I mean, four main parts. The lips, the teeth, the tongue and the palate. So, to easily say, the lips are the division between the mouth and the outside world surroundings that next to the teeth are at so these teeth just break down pieces break down food into smaller and smaller pieces next to the palate the palate divides the nasal cavity and the oral cavity next to the tongue which tastes in things and pushes food back and also there's another part which is the salivary glands so these salivary glands produce saliva which helps the food move into other places and also help us taste a bit that means yeah digestion. i mean in digestion these saliva helps a lot yes so okay so the uvula projects downwards from the middle of the soft palate at its back so when you open your mouth very much like you may see something just hanging out there so that is known as the uvula yes so Okay, so the oral mucosa is the mucous membrane epithelium lining the inside of the mouth. So inside of the mouth, uh, every side there is a mucus lining. Yes, so this is known as the oral mucosa. Yes, so next, so, um, the part may, uh, the three parts of the mouth. So these are also my other main parts. So the first one is the tongue. So it is a muscular organ. So it manipulates food for mastication and swallowing and primary organ of taste. So of course you know the tongue has the primary organ of taste but it also helps in other things like a, it helps a bit in digestion and also pushes food backwards into the throat. Instead without the tongue the food we, it will still be there and won't move at all and we can't still taste. Yes. So the tongue supper surface is covered by taste buds. Taste buds means it is completely covered by taste buds. Because of these taste buds, we can taste anything. Yes. So next are the teeth. So these mechanically break down items of food by cutting and crushing. So here mechanically it means like crushing and grinding. Those things are mechanically here. Okay, so then in preparation for swallowing and digestion. So after the food gets mechanically digested, then it is almost ready for going into the throat. But saliva needs to ready up the food a bit before it goes into the throat. So humans have four types of teeth. They are the incisors, the canines, the premolars and the molars. So you may see uh, the incisors always. So here are the incisors. Next the sharp ones here are the canines. Next after the canines are the premolars. And finally are the molars at the end. Some people also, I mean most people have the wisdom teeth. 
yes which was an ancestry evolution which didn't go away yet yes but it is not used now that molars i mean the wisdom teeth so next finally is the salivary glands so these produce sal- saliva through a system of ducts so we have three main major salivary glands the parotid glands which are the largest salivary glands over here uh, approximately over here on my body next the submandibular mandibular or down of the tongue i think so like this and fine and then the sublingual which is just next to the submandibular so the main type of protein secreted is alpha amylase and enzyme that break down starch into maltose and glucose which then can be used by the body for doing any other things so the main function of glucose is to make energy yes so yeah so in humans 1200 to 1500 milliliters of saliva is produced every day that means more than 1 liter yes and that's another fun fact in a average human's life time life span they will approximately produce one swimming pool worth of saliva yes don't imagine just swimming in that it will be very bad to feel <laughs> So this is for today about the digestive system, especially in the mouth. Bye!